So, uh, approximately 400 years ago, Giordano Bruno, the uh, Italian astronomer, among other things, was burnt at the stake uh, for believing, among other things, that the universe was infinite and had no center. Uh, and so its circumference was everywhere. Um, and this wasn't even Bruno's idea. I mean, this goes back um, into Western history, probably to the beginning of, uh, you know, the goddess worshipping uh, tribal villages. Um, it's a relationship to the circle. Uh, and, you know, a circle itself, it's not infinite, it's actually a container. It makes a distinction between an inside and an outside. But the part of it that's infinite is uh, well, the background, background within which it occurs. Um, pi is a, it's an infinite number. It's the uh, circumference of a circle divided by its diameter. And... Uh, See, it's not about the circle anymore, it's about what's around the circle. That's the infinity. Um, and, you know, maybe this is the big discovery that uh, physics, or, you know, rediscovery that physics is going to encounter in the next few years. Maybe this summer when the uh, new particle collider turns on at, uh, at CERN, maybe we'll discover, um, you know, the Higgs field, the gravitron, Graviton, um, and maybe we'll have to to scrap the Big Bang cosmology, or at least the unidirectional thing where time and space began in this unique universe. And when you suck it all back down to this single point, um, there was nothing else. I mean, maybe we'll have to see this as possibly a rhythmic thing, you know, a big bang, and then maybe everything flies apart so far that it, it just evaporates and comes back to being so empty again that, you know, the, the opposite impulse is just manifested from nothing. I mean, and then it does that again and, until it dies, and then it, it's just pulsing. And because it's infinite and there, there really is no center, um, we can even take a step further and say it's not just this forever ongoing rhythm. They're, all the rhythms are actually in a, a state of superposition. Uh, the universe is taking all possible modes of vibration and experience into consideration at every moment and what we experience is what it decided to collapse and we think we are something other than the universe like a little personal ego subjective self in here but really that is a decision made by the universe to collapse its state of super abundance you know superposition in quantum physics terms but just so full that it is empty because those two rhythmic states of, you know, big nothing and, and big bang and material experiential universe, it's, it's both. And we are it.